All right, Tails Feet. <laughs> yeah, little buddy feet. Ah, okay, there we are. Oh, I didn't mean to have that up already. I, sp I spoiled the, the goddamn surprise. Boom. There we are. We're in Green Hill Zone. <laughs> okay. I've wanted to do this for a while. As you can see, the regular brand is gone. We've got Brains the Rabbit. Hello, film. You made it just in time. We're ready to, to watch some Sonic the Hedgehog content. So, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this, I am a, I am a very big Sonic fan. Thankfully, I am also a self-aware Sonic fan, and I, I am aware of how this fan base is perceived, of the people who work within and, uh, and in the periphery of the fan base who are less than reputable characters but ultimately sonic the hedgehog is about friendship learning lessons and fighting for what's right and yeah sometimes that means being a little cringe as well okay so if that's a crime then lock me up yes i did pay a really good artist to make a funny rabbit version of me is that a crime it shouldn't be and i don't want to live in a world where it is any tamers this stream? A little bit. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna do much tamers. Preston has to be here for tamers time. Thank you very much, Aria. Brains Benoit, Brains Benoit. I <laughs> I I part of me contemplated writing a bunch of like cringe Sonic esque dialogue to go like, don't worry, Sonic, I'm here. I can make fun of white people for you, Sonic. <laughs> what do you think of Kanye West, Sonic and Tails? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, he said a bunch of weird shit, but the music's good. Did Dr. Eggman make graduation? I don't think so. So, I'm gonna start with an oldie but a goodie. I spoiled it earlier, but that's okay. <laughs> We've got some, some Sonic Underground. I'll let this ride for a bit. Preston, let's go! Will the prophecy come true? Shit, that is good timing. I long for my children, but I have to wait. To act too soon could seal their fate. <laughs> the only true Sonic the Hedgehog series. And uh, we... I was saying to Preston that uh, we can't possibly watch Tamers without you. I think I do have one Tamers short in the mix, but, um, 
by no means are we going to be watching much in the way of tamers what i did want to do is i wanted to uh show you guys a new and exciting sonic account actually there's a really cool channel that just started it's called the sonic zone okay and the cool thing about this channel is it reports on tons of amazing sonic the hedgehog news lots of great information and delivered in a fun and exciting way so let's let's peep this video quickly hello guys welcome to the sonic zone today we're going to be talking about how sega might be acquiring the people who make angry birds hey wait a minute wait a minute that's a familiar voice isn't it i could swear i've heard that voice somewhere do any of you guys know where we might have Oh, I don't know, heard that voice in a video? Maybe a long-form debate of some... So, I know what I'll do. Thankfully, I have <laughs> a digital audio workstation that I used to manipulate this audio. Hello guys, welcome to the Sonic Zone. Today we're going to be talking about how Sega might be acquiring the people who make Angry Birds. Oh! We do know who this is, don't we, friends? <laughs> so, our good old friend Dylan Thomas <laughs> has yet another nom de plume to feed his, his pill addiction. My man is, is popping pills and <laughs> catching tails. So, this was, uh, this was from a few days ago. Dylan uh, went on something of a hiatus. Uh, I'll read this out for you guys, just because uh, I don't think all of it fits on here. I will... There we go. All right. <clears throat> and I... I <laughs> you came in at a very good time. Uh, oh, geez, I haven't done the Dylan voice in a while. Give me a second. <clears throat> Expect a video about this soon, but both me and Lava have decided that it's time to move on from this channel. I made this account almost 10 years ago, guys. And through those 10 years, we've had a lot of ups and downs. From the top 10s of 2015 and the is stupids of 2016, going all the way to Sonic Insanity. I have tried, always tried, my best to entertain people. And I hope that you've enjoyed the run that we had here. I may post here once in a blue moon, and I might stream random stuff on here, but my days of trying to make this channel into something are done. I want to thank all the guys who supported this channel, either financially or otherwise. I appreciated all the love and support over the past 10 years, and wish you guys the best. Guys, 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 guys. So... <laughs> A teary, mournful end for Dylan Thomas. I'm not usually one to exhume a ghost of the past, um, but I am also a petty enough person that I made a long-form uh, music project about his fall from grace. Uh, I would say Dylan Thomas isn't a very interesting person to discuss beyond this. You know, he's, he's just kind of pathetic and sad, and uh, I don't really anticipate him doing anything of note. I'm probably going to rework the first episode of my Sonic series to not be about Dylan Thomas, because the more I did research on him, uh, the more bored I got. Obviously, there are plenty of exhaustive videos about Dylan uh, chronicling his rise and fall and whatever the hell this era was where he's pitching his voice up and down as Shad's hoodlum, and now as a fucking parrot, but it's it's pretty Hello over for <laughs> it's pretty over for our boy Dylan. I hate to say, um, this is rough. You know, this is this is a man who is desperate, <laughs> and I'm sad that he's he's gone from having a a, a stupid but relatively successful Sonic the Hedgehog channel. To whatever the fuck he's doing now. So, R.I.P. Dylan Thomas. He should go right back on hiatus. He should never get out of hiatus. Uh, pretty bad. Pretty goddamn bad.
But anyway, we've got more important business. <laughs> this was all my fault. I was the one who wanted to relax on Sunday. Now, if you'll be so kind as to leave, so I can get ready for work tomorrow. Aww. Shoot. Not my day. Okay. I'm out of here. Skatanena. What happened? Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill right now. Oh, nuts. I don't want to go without you. Goodbye, Kay. Shit, he did the thing. He did the thing. He did the thing. Now, in, in autistic form, I have to break this down and go, well, actually, that wasn't all the Sonic the Hedgehogs. But uh, that's a good amount of Sonic the Hedgehogs that led <laughs> left Squidward's house. So we're on, we're on to, <laughs> we're on a pretty good roll here. Um, God, I've I've got a lot of crap that that we gotta go through. Let me let me see what I got here. All right, commercials. There we go. So we'll start at we'll start at number one. This uh, guy, Cybernick the Robot, he did a number of cringe compilations around the Sonic community, and he did a pretty good job. Sonic would be an awful neighbor, uh, undoubtedly. He's a he's a pretty bad friend, <laughs> so I can't imagine just living next to him. That's our boy. Just calm down, calm down, people, just calm down. There's no need to cause a riot here, so just calm down, calm down, people, just calm down. What the heck are you guys doing here? Who the fuck are you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's a bygone era of, of dubbing <laughs> things off of your television. Oh, oh. We are the Eggman police villagers. It seems you're causing a riot here. I don't know what to tell so you, Soul Tail. That's just the way it is. Empire, or we shall arrest you all. This is some good-ass voice acting right here. Fuck you, Eggman! Sword. Oh my god, you got owned. You suck. Oh shit. Yes. Man, yes, I have read Sonic High School, and maybe we should read it if we have enough time. Holy fuck. <laughs> embarrassing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's doing the sound effects too. Objection. Hi, Eggman. I was rushing to this village like, boom, I pwned your robots. Ooh. God damn it, Classic I Sonic. Like you have to keep destroying my robots. Why did you have to pwn me, Hedgehog? I don't know what to tell you, Eggman. I rock sword your sock swords. It's 2007. Because they're evil robots. Well, they may be evil robots, but they do have lives, you know. Well, anyway, screw. I I desperately want to hear like the cast of Sonic the Hedgehog redo this exact scene. I just want to hear fucking Mike Pollock go. Listen, they may be evil robots. <laughs> You, how, how dare you pwn my robots? Are you Sonic? I'm going home. Whoosh. Yeah, that's right. You better run, Eggman. Yeah. Yeah. What well, took care of him? Did you guys cause a riot here? Yeah. Why? Yeah, cause we black? Right huh? here, yeah, but we'll all burn now. Thanks, Sonic. Yeah. Thanks, Sonic. Thanks, I'm man. Here. Damn. Damn. My Sonic, my boy Sonic game ended. Holy shit. Let's go. Ah, now we're talking. This is, this is the content y'all come to see on the Black Brains channel. If you want to see a, an obese bat lady eat someone, you came to the right place. Man, 
<laughs> and why? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking baffled at Rouge ripping that fat burp. Shouldn't have stared at her tits. Plain and simple. Shouldn't have stared at Rouge's tits. You get eaten if you stare at the tits. We are going to watch some Guptill as well. So, <laughs> we're, uh, we're going through it. We're going through it, people. Well, at least Amy won't find me in the innards of Rouge the Bat. Thank God. Thank God, my, my adoring fan who has a fixation on me won't find me in the digestive system of a big-breasted bat lady. I don't like it! I also didn't like it. This is the Sonic Rap. Oh, shit, let's go! Let's go! We on that Sonic rap. Let's go. Uh. Uh. Let's uh, let's go. You're too slow. You're too slow. Hey. You're too slow. Hey. Come on, step it up. Hey. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. Come on, Come on step, step it, it up. up. Sonic's not cheap. He's just, just fast. fast. Sonic's not cheap. No. He's just fast. Yup. Sonic's not cheap. What? He's just fast. What? You're too slow. Come on, step it up. Sonic's the name. He speaks my game. Oh. Uh, the mic's getting to Sonic's the name. He speaks my game. Sonic's the name. No, I believe, I believe Tails was also in her belly because uh, Tails had looked at her tits. So Rouge responded in kind by eating him. Oh, I, I hope I can clear I hope I can clear that up for you, Callus. Come on, step it up. You're too slow, you're too slow. Damn. Damn, this fucking instrumental's cooked, dude. That's golden shit. Hi guys, I'm Sonic. And today we're gonna look at John Carter. Yeah, you know, Esmeralda, he might have been too slow. In fact, he was so slow, he's in a, a different class. <laughs> John Carter. John Carter. I mean, John Carter is a good sci-fi film. It's based on a book that was released a few years ago in 1912. It was entitled A Princess of on Mars. Come on, man. We can and do this. The film was amazing. It was directed by... Andrew we all did. Those don't know him. He works at Pixar. Some of us. Sam, see, the difference is that you were a child and this man is not. <laughs> this is an adult man making a video a child would make. And, uh, uh, you know, as a kid, you usually have the decency to either just upload this in obscurity or not upload it at all. Also, John Carter's terrible. <laughs> well said, Phil. And he's very good. Because I really like... Please stop that, Amy. Amy, come on. As I was saying. Anyway. Anyway. I really like it, because... Because I'm not strong in it, because... <sighs> What's with you today? <sighs> okay. Anyway. The effects are astonishing, cause I like it. Yep, they're very cool. And film, what? film. I'm gonna be real, man. I'm gonna be real, film nerd. I think you're fucking out of a job. I think, I think you gotta switch it up. You gotta get a Sonic Persona, cause uh, you can't keep up. You thought it was okay? Come on, man. <laughs> Why am I rabbit now? Because it's it's Sonic Day. It's it, this is my Sonic persona, Goodly. I'm a bat. I, I'm a funny bunny. 
I'm a, I'm a rabbit. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back to being a black man when we're talking about, like, I don't know, gang violence or, or people rhyming words or, like, all the other stuff I talk about. But right now, I'm a bun. Do you want me to review Sucker Punch? Maybe soon, sometime. Oh, shit. Amy would like Sucker Punch. I give the films a thumbs up. Yes. A few weeks ago, I just... Uh, Man, yeah, Sonic's a pleb! So, I give it a thumbs up. What? Why is my man straight up winded every time he speaks? <laughs> See you in the next video. I want to kill myself. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Classic. Let's go. Sega. This is a classic. If it's the one I'm thinking of, this one's so fucking good. <laughs> That's right, Kemi, it's Sanic time. And here we go. Man. I I do too. We all miss Papa Frank. Why did he have to become a platinum recording artist? Why? Why? Uh Milt Slayer Hot Tower. Hello, Brains, the Bunny, or Slug. You should do a collab with the femboy VTuber known as Club Doom. I honestly, I like Club Doom. If if we're talking about the same Club Doom. The one who likes Klonoa a lot. Oh, you are not getting in the lead. Thank you very much. I am Miles Thank you very much. and I'm taking the lead. That's not true. I'm a Sonic fan, and I'm at least as smart as a clever 12-year-old, okay, Mako? All right, you think that's funny? That's not funny. Don't call me the- Oh no! Don't- No! Start! The Preston's in here! Don't give them ideas! Next-gen games are great, but you just can't beat this Genesis, you know? You can't beat the old Genesis. Bro, I would smack this guy for talking like this all the time. I'm just trying to play some Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and this guy's like, Man, you can't beat the graphics of the Genesis. Dog, shut up. Jump over these <laughs> fucking <laughs> blocks. <laughs> I'm trying to go through this goddamn loop to loop and you keep talking to me. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, but you know what? I bet Sonic 4 is gonna beat them all. Oh! Oh, that aged very well. Sonic 4 did in fact beat them all. Best one in the franchise. Isn't that right, Kuko? Is Sonic 4 the best Sonic game? What? Is there a power outage or something? I don't know, the lights just went out. What's going on? I don't know. I'm gonna go check the fuse box. Hold on, wait. Something Hold on, wait. What's going on? I What's don't know. going on? The TV's turning back on. What? What is that? I agree, AJ. <laughs> I think I think Joji took the right road to like him choosing to make something he believed in rather than sell himself out and be like uh like our good friend Ian. Probably a good call. Also, Kuko, you're wrong, buddy. You're wrong. Sonic 4, both parts, amazing. Can't wait till they drop episode 3. Hey, you two. Shadow and I have been captured by Eggman. Oh, let's go, baby! Is that... Sonic? Sonic? No time to explain. Grab these power rings and help me stop Eggman. Let's go! Oh, it's coming to Preston. You you don't think that I neglect showing the king, do you? We'll probably watch some Guptill right after this. I agree. I agree, Mako. Shadow Nid. <laughs> Oh, they're there! They're there! Let's do it too! 
and fun. <laughs> Crucified Sonic and Shadow, and furthermore, why does this guy look like Mick Jagger? <laughs> oh, the bystanders, goddamn. Sometimes you gotta hit them with the sweet doom. Alright, Sonic, does not matter. Let's go crack this egg, man. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Shadow, let's go. <laughs> let's get this over with. <laughs> Oh man, man! Oh shit, I Your forgot shot. all about Tanner. Chaos control. Yo, I know these these niggas got mer uh, they must have got bullied mercilessly after presenting this project or whatever. I assume this was like a school thing. It's like I. There was not a time where these two were out of a locker. Good lord. <laughs> Big Jagger Generations. So, where do you Sonic Jaggerations. <laughs> Sounds like Eggman. <laughs> Ready? Go. The story is uh, slightly more coherent than most of the games, but yeah, they do be swirling. Undoubtedly, their heads were in toilets. These guys were getting their bellies slapped. They were getting their hair pulled, kicked in the ribs. All of it. All of it. <laughs> servers of seven chaos. chaos oh shit! Power. Let's go! Enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies. The unifies. Chaos. Let's go. Let's go. Look, if you guys aren't fucking with this, I don't know what to tell you. This is incredible. Hey, get your ass to be that man. Alright! Yeah, yeah, for high schoolers, this is actually kind of uh, competently done. I mean, it's still autistic as hell and very cringy. But it's not that bad for, like, two teenagers. <laughs> okay, we gotta, we gotta watch some Dylan. And of course, we're gonna watch the classic. Where would we be without this? Let me make sure that okay, it's all in frame. And we even got our we got our man's up here shocked. Shocked, absolutely flabbergasted. Doing your mom Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought up. That's that's not a very high bar. Uh, being better than Linkara is like, it's kind of like not getting food poisoning. <laughs> he can run at sound speed, take out enemies in a flash, and best of all, he's blue colored and knows how to handle the females. Female. Speaking <laughs> of females, the Sonic universe might also be classified as it's hot, hot chick, chick heaven, heaven because there's such a mess of very beautiful and tough women that it'll make you love the franchise even more. And since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I've been inspired to make a top 10 list of the most beautiful female Sonic characters. Grab your- You can't hate this guy. You really can't. He's such a wholesome guy. <laughs> like, 
out of out of all the internet weirdos, this guy is so harmless and and just such a fun little guy. I was talking to Zuki about this shit. It's like you can look at so many of these people and go like, oh, they're a log cow. It's like Guptil, you know, like, yeah, he's he's a cringy weird nerd, but he seems nice and he's he's kind of like harmless and inoffensive. I hope he's doing well. I hope he's doing very well. Self a snack and a glass of orange juice and try not to reach through the screen because here we go! Number 10. Try this question on for size. Okay. Who chases and hugs Sonic all the time and wields a powerful a hammer? Oh, Why, it's know. Amy Rose, of course. Oh, cool. Though more of a cutie than a hottie, you can't deny the fact that she's still attractive. Two things that make her attractive... Chat, can you deny the fact that Amy Rose of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, despite being more of a cutie than a hottie, is still attractive. Does anyone here in my chat deny the fact that Amy Rose is a cutie, but also quite attractive despite that? That's all I want to know. ...are the fact that she wears a dress? Yeah. And when have you ever seen three big, very smooth arcs of hair never. sticking out of a person's I've never forehead? seen that. I haven't. So, once again, Amy... They can see the hedgehog too. <laughs> Firstly, if, if your major concern is that she's a minor, my major concern is that she's a fucking animal. <laughs> Amy Rose is lovely. That is until she goes berserk and starts hitting stuff. Y'all think it's on the internet way too much. Who's at number nine? <laughs> it's this alien plant girl. <laughs> she's a <laughs> she's a fucking hedgehog. She could she could be twenty five. <laughs> She's a hedgehog first. <laughs> How is that not your concern? <laughs> from a distant planet, Cosmo from Sonic X. She arrived on the character's planet to deliver a message saying that the galaxy was under attack by a force called the Metarex. She doesn't do much except tell. Star, I I hope that that Amy or. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still fucked up by this Amy talking point. Uh, I hope that our, our man Dylan Guptill is doing incredibly well. I hope he, uh, maybe he works in the mailroom or something. You know? Like, <laughs> maybe he's, maybe he's folding envelopes or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we gotta draw a line that, that it's like, Okay, and I know I'm a rabbit in this episode, but I'm like a normal human man. <laughs> I mean, not that normal. I have gay sex, but normal enough that I think the idea of even thinking about Rouge the Bat or Cream the Rabbit or Vanille the Rabbit or any of these characters like many people do on the internet is like horrible <laughs> at all. At all. So we don't even enter into the the legality because she's a fucking hedgehog. <laughs> that's that's the biggest issue. And I and I think he's he's I don't I don't know if he's truly simping, but that's a conversation for another day. But yeah, y'all y'all really gotta go outside sometimes, man. How how are you trying to cuff niggas on a cartoon animal's age? <laughs> Tell people to stop fighting and focus on the real matter at hand. The real reason she lands at the number nine spot is that she becomes Miles Tails Prower's sweetheart. Something Tails needed for a long while. Numero ocho. Cream the rabbit's Racist mother, funny. Vanilla. She's attractive and is the size of an average human mother. What really surprises me about... Okay, I've had the, I've had this question for a long time, chat. What is the average mother size? All right, I've thought about this a lot. I've watched this video numerous times. What is an average mother size? Let's fuck it. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Average mother size. All right, how tall is the average woman? Okay. 
All right. So five foot four inches, and that's a 20 year old woman, right? But a mother is probably going to be in their 40s. Women between 20 and 74 years of age stood at 63.1 inches tall and weighed approximately 140 pounds. Plus, you got to factor in that height declines over time. So, Depreston might actually be bang on. I'm going to say 130 centimeters? What's 130 centimeters in inches? Ah, who cares? <laughs> but yeah, I would say, I guess, I guess she's probably below the average metric for, for a mother. God damn it. About her is that the leader of Team Chaotix, Vector the Crocodile, falls in love with her. That isn't a kind of silly, don't See. you think? She's another character that doesn't do much, but in a season three episode of Sonic X, she helps Chris. How can how can this guy think that a rabbit and a crocodile falling in love is silly? But totally suspend disbelief about himself, Dylan Guptill, romancing a a, a walking, talking, big-breasted bat. Thorndike get into space to fight the Metarex along Don't tell me what to do, Goodly. <laughs> with Sonic and friends. Ah, who cares? <laughs> what number's next? Seven, of course. Wave the Swallow from Sonic Riders. People always root for the good guys, but sometimes the <laughs> bad guys steal the show. Damn straight, Her Bingle. mechanical IQ is equal to Tails. She also happens to be the smartest member of the Babylon Rose. Okay. I wonder why she isn't the leader. Yeah. Like Jet the Hawk and Storm the Albatross, her specialty is riding the airboards called Extreme Gear. With two very long and smooth feathers extending from her head oh, to her calves yeah. and droopy eyes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Smooth conical extremities. Wave will rock your socks. If only we could see her take wing. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean, chat? Well, what what does... I know the expression taking wing. That means to leave or to exit, right? What does Dylan Guptill, in his inebriated Aspergian mind, think that wave the swallow taking wing refers to? What? what? <laughs> You're going to get that beak job? It's like <laughs> depressed. It. This man is talking about having sex with a bird. You don't think he supports interracial relationships? You think he he draws the line of black people marrying white people, but he's gonna fuck a bird? Numero six. To call the echidna from Sonic Adventure One. Named after an ancient Mayan city of the same name, to call is the daughter of Chief Pakakamak. Oh, She's yet another Pakakamak. character that hardly does a thing, except beg her father to stop being so greedy. She also traps herself inside the Master Emerald so that the water god Chaos doesn't rain terror upon the land. When you're the daughter of a person in the highest power, you need to look your best. And That looks like fan art, and I'll be real, that looks like it's upsetting fan art. I'll leave it at that. To call delivers perfectly. That's why she's number six. Uh, you know what? Number I have to one, do it. You know two, I have to three, do it. four, five. Ah, ah, ah. A man of taste. Mina Mongoose from the Sonic Archie comics. How could you go wrong with a girl who <laughs> looks like this? She could run nearly as fast That's as Sonic, and she went from being a freedom fighter to being a pop star singer. Next to Princess Sally. She Hey, who's your favorite Sonic character? My favorite character is Silver the Hedgehog. I'm more of a Chief Hakakamak <laughs> fan myself. I'm a big fan of Chief Hakakamak. She looks more humanoid than the other characters. Who could top someone who has long mauve hair? This wow. female standing at number four, Blaze the Cat. One word, pyrokinesis. Does How would you like to that? have that superpower? We'd I mean, Blaze could play around in the Himalayas for hours and she would... Hey, yo, a bitch who could play in the Himalayas for hours? Hey, yo! God damn! Be perfectly fine. Also, her 45-degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. That's, that's what most people look for in a woman. It's like, wow, you see that girl over there? Her 45-degree ponytail makes her look like a Native American. I really love the fact that her love interest is the telekinetic hedgehog Silver. 
The combination of mind moving and fire superpowers make these two a reliable couple. But what really lands Blaze in the number four spot is that her attitude is apparently more different from the other females. Next up is number three. What's better than having a female with cascading qu- What? Tell us what? <laughs> All right. All right. I, I made a point about fucking Amy Rose or whatever. Which, again, I hope that point's not misconstrued. My, my thesis was, why would you even think about a hedgehog that way? But Maria Robotnik is a human child? Quills. How about a female with cascading quills and hair? Julie Sue, oh, the Echidna, what? another Archie comic exclusive, has that feature. She's smart, knows exactly what to do as a freedom fighter, and even trained Amy oh, once. Club Doom, She's also the girl of Jeffrey Knuckles' John. dreams. <laughs> Lucky him. Lucky him. Her older self in the series, <laughs> Mobius, X years later, is yep. just downright hot. Just look Ooh. at that long ponytail. Where's her toes? Uh, I think unless... It depends on what sex weirdo is drawing Sonic the Hedgehog. But I think the canonical Sega way of doing feet is that they're one uniform shape. Uh, usually they don't have toes for any of the characters. But if you're a sex weirdo, yeah, you're probably giving toes to Roosh the Bat. Now we're talking! Number one, two, button my shoe! Princess Sally Acorn. There's a lot to say about this character. She's the heir to the throne, Sonic's first official romance, the only character that used to not wear clothes, Damn brave it. and athletic, the most humanoid character, and is like a mother to Tails. In the TV show Sonic Sat AM, one freedom fighter... Imagine being a mother figure to, uh, to like a little child fox, and you just got your titties out like this. <laughs> this bitch just got her whole ass titties out, and she's like, oh, Tails. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> the cowardly Antoine constantly tries to woo Sally, but doesn't succeed because he's a coward. The Listen, princess what? is also a semi-perfect example of an excellent love interest. Although there were a couple of times when she really snapped and acted like a lunatic. In the comics, that is. But overall, Sally Acorn really stands out amongst the slew of females, not just because she's Sonic's first- Why do y'all- Want to see Sonic feet so bad? Why are you talking about Toast this much? Official love interest, or because she's the only one who didn't wear clothes, but because in the comics she grew very long hair and married Sonic in the future, becoming you will briefly the queen. Briefly touch upon Tamers, Hot Tower. So you've seen a pyrokinetic cat, a swallow, yeah. two gorgeous echidnas, <laughs> and even a princess. Who could possibly top those they kinds swallow. of females? Well, get ready, folks. This is the number one hottest Sonic the Hedgehog female character. All right, let's let's go, niggas. Let's go. <laughs> it's a fucking hold on your tits. <laughs> this shit gets me all the time. Just the long hanging shot on Rouge's titties. Rouge the you Bat. You ain't getting the toes. If anybody no, denies she... it, how dare no, you? She... This woman can fly, she's as strong as Knuckles, and is a femme fatale seducing other characters into getting what she wants. Instead of having one love interest, she has two, Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog. Being a treasure thief, she's only interested in one object set jewels, especially the Chaos Emeralds. Classic there actually have been situations where Rouge's cleavage has been exposed. God damn. God damn. Yo, this bat making me act up. I might just change sides. I might just, I might just draft myself to the straights. God damn. But it eventually got censored. What a price to pay. Good lord. I think the best part about this beauty is that she wears three different outfits unlike the other female characters. And who wouldn't want to fly across the landscape, be as strong as Sean Johnson, and flirt with any male? What a weird reference. He just, he just pulled a, a random, like, <laughs> U.S. Olympic gymnast as an example for female strength. I mean, it's accurate. It's just like a really bizarre left field thing to bring up. I think my man had it, uh, he had it bad to Sean Johnson. 
battle anytime, anywhere. These three traits make Rouge the Bat triumph over all the Sonic the Hedgehog females. My hat goes off to you, Sonic Team USA. You ought to be proud. Good job, Sonic Team. Those guys did a really good job giving that bat tits. Good job, Sonic Team. <laughs> we really appreciate you giving that bat some fat bat tats. Can I get some fat bat tats in the chat? This is a fat bat tat chat. <laughs> All right, we got some more Guptil here. Oh, oh shit, I wanted to do part one first. My bad. So this is for the 15th anniversary of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> our boy did a bit of a ceremonial... I don't know what you would call this. Sega! But we're all, we're all going to enjoy this. Oh, my man's gonna throw it back. Hey, yo! Celebration 15, In my October man's gonna throw it right the fuck back. Knuckles the Echidna, protector of the Master Emerald, and a resident of Angel Island, announced that he'd come to the United States to join the festivity of Sonic the Hedgehog celebration through a dance on Halloween night. That sounds like Knuckles. Like, you, see, you, you can't begrudge this guy. You really can't. He's, he's such a wholesome fucking being. He, like, yeah, this is stupid. But, but you, I'm rooting for him. I hope he did so well. I hope he did better than all of us. Marching through the streets, carrying a wooden stage, and his cameraman carrying a spotlight, the two set the scene for a big performance. Man. Oh, we yeah, we we've seen this. Hey, let's go okay. with our boy Hunted P. Uh, fun fact about Hunted P, he got really weird with, like, a Sonic fandom voice actor who is also very weird. But, uh, the rapper on the Sonic Adventure 2 raps tried to slide in the DMs of this random girl. Uh, he's, he's a very bizarre guy, but, you know, my man spits love. Bat cats! Basic bat cats! Can we, can we honestly give it up? Fucking Guptil did not have to come through this goddamn hard. My man, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm straight up baffled. I never LARPed in the parking lot. All right, I gotta, I gotta address these allegations. Why is my Sonic Sona so zesty? He's, you've seen my regular Sedils. I'm, I'm always zesty, sir. This is, this has always been a fact about me. He is pushing on the P. Goodly, what the? Oh, when did you get this tapped in? You gotta stop talking to Zuki. Yeah, yeah, Guptil is pushing P. With a hard G at the end, too. He is pushing P. Nah, I, I, you, gotta, you can tell he rehearsed this shit, though. You can tell he, like, actually put in the time to, to make this happen. My man's putting it in. I don't care what y'all say. Oh, he's doing the worm!
Cow, I know what you do to the characters. Don't you dare! Don't you dare look at my Sonic Soda like that, sir! I know what the fuck you do to characters! I don't want a big fat ass! <laughs> no! Yeah, it is got Phil Finley. We might have to look into Sonic TikTok stuff. His name is Knuckles, he doesn't chuckle. Like, what do you want, Akko? Alright, this is, this is, this is content. This is YouTube. Guptil's a pioneer. What do you want, Akko? Over the top, the R and B vocals were on this track. Like, <laughs> only temporary. <laughs> it's like, why is this man given this hard? He's singing a song about an echidna standing on a gem. Are you watching Knuckles? He's dancing to the music! I think I think the quote unquote woman in this video may or may not be Guptil's mom. Uh, because she's she's clearly kind of hyping him up. He is a good dancer. He is a good dancer. I cannot lie, this track is so fucking tough. <laughs> Maybe it's my bias from playing this on the Dreamcast, but this track is so good. <laughs> No, that was his mama. That was his mama. Yeah, yeah speaking of lacking self-awareness, my man went like, alright, it's time to go on a tirade about the Master Emerald now. You gotta give it to Guptil. This shit is hard, man. Have you tried dancing like this for five straight minutes? Like, good for him. I cannot hate on this man. I I can't lie. I love the dude. I wish him nothing but the best. He crushed this. I know I know none of us could do what he did here. Even the ones in shape. I don't think any of us could do what he did. What's crazy is like. Out of all the things, Guptil's like only hobby is playing video games, and he has cardio this good to dance, albeit badly, for like five minutes straight. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> throw occasional roundhouse kicks. My man breaks it. My man breaks it. I hope Guptil found, like, 
I hope Guptil found the right girl, you know? I hope Guptil met a nice girl who accepted his idiosyncratic nature and just took care of him, you know? Helped him through some stuff. Because I, I don't think Guptil is, like, deserving any ire. He's, he's just a funny, fucking weird internet guy. Something is calling me more and more. No one stops Knuckles' feet. Let's go! This is to celebrate Sonic the Hedgehog's 15th anniversary. All right. Thanks, Knuckles. Very cool. And then the free, the free make watermark at the end. So we got we got part two. This is Knuckles. This is a, a Knuckles Let's Play. I never forget myself saying that. Oh yeah, I remember when I said I'm ready to take him out. Classic Knuckles. Classic Knuckles. That's me, all right. <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing. Absolutely. Yes. I'm I'm great at opening stone doors. Well, that's another one of my favorite quotes. I don't like how he said that. <laughs> as a as a Tails enjoyer myself, who acknowledges that Tails is a, a cute, smart little fox. I, why'd he say it like that? Why'd he say it? I always thought he was so cute. He said he said it like Harvey Weinstein would say it. He said he said it like Dan Schneider would say it and go like Tails the Fox, eh? Well, do you have any other talents, Tails the Fox? Man, I love my power. What the Man, I love his speed. He's always great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I tell you, sometimes it's hard to keep up with Sonic. Man, I tell you. Man, I tell you. God damn it. Uh, have I ever heard of Death Grips? Have, yeah, I've heard of Death Grips. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, of course I've heard of Death Grips. <laughs> I, li I like a few of their albums. Oh. Oh, Esmeralda, no. God, that's like I can't believe this was like a passable way of watching stuff back in the day too. Just like, oh yeah, right off the television. His costume looks so uncomfortable. Got that right. In fact, I think I always think I'm right. <laughs> Finally, my cue has arrived. Everything was fine until. Uh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> just the part of him fucking swearing is so good. It's just like fuck. This stupid game! <laughs> even even Knuckles himself. He's in the fucking game. And even he knows that Sonic Heroes is shit. What the Oh man. I never thought I'd see my fellow fall off like strength. that. You know, the thing is I seem to be a lot better at old school games than this. In fact I'm <laughs> oh! The, the, like, the two-thirds view of Knuckles is so cursed, man. Guptil Knuckles is so scary looking. <laughs> you know, I'm better at classic games, actually. 
I'm gonna switch to them right now. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a quick word from our sponsors. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, the wonders of 80s games put onto a single joystick. Nice. That's right, everyone. This is a joystick that has some of your favorite video games on it. <laughs> Create Created by Namco, and now you can own one just like your friend Knuckles. Oh, cool! Mama Mia! Mama, <laughs> Mama Mia! Yeah. I forgot all about this shit. Let me, I gotta run that back. So he's making like a fake commercial for like a plug-and-play game. This is just like one of those shitty plug-and-plays from like Tiger Electronics or whatever. Uh, but man, that fucking Mamma Mia got me. It's a joystick that has some of your favorite Damn. video games on it. Created by Namco. And now, you can own one just like, like your friend Knuckles. Knuckles. Hey. Mamma Mia! Mia. <laughs> this can be found at your local game store or Walmart. Or you can check out one at ebay.com. Namco rules! Better hurry before the stock runs. <laughs> Esmeralda, if, if Guptil ever got locked up, you know that that would be... <laughs> That would be the first edit. Would just be I was scared. Out, <laughs> the Ms. Pac-Man joystick. Relive the old days once again. Can uh, I? I will. I will say this. Can we give it up to Guptil's mom for like actually being kind of good at voiceover? Like real, real goddamn talk. Like she's got a pretty nice voice. I I wonder if she actually did some radio or something, because uh, she sounds great. But uh, yeah, we lived the old days once again. <laughs> we now return to our featured program. Mama Mia. Oh, man. It really does start. Like, there's something about being, something about being high functioning and feeling the need for commercial breaks. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, dog, you don't you don't need to have an advertisement in your stupid video. Relive the old days once this. again, guys. I'm trying this out myself. Oh man, he's playing some bangers. Oh yeah, I remember playing this back in the arcade. Man dressed as Broden plays retro video games, part one. Oh, this is better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, yeah, about. Take that. That's what I'm talking about. Sick. <laughs> and then he played the games. Shadows, dark creatures, steel power. <laughs> DB Cooper on camera, nice. So D.B. Cooper is clearly a pseudonym. Yeah, I mean, we all know who D.B. Cooper is. Uh, but D.B. Cooper is a pseudonym for his mom. Oh, yeah. See, D.B. Cooper was in the audience. His mom was a plant in the audience going like, wow, this guy's really good at dancing. I wonder if this is in conjunction with, oh, I don't know, the anniversary of a certain beloved franchise character. Whoa, Kazram. Hello. We got we got other bangers to watch. I'm glad we could watch some Guptil together. I, I fucking love that guy. Our Tilker Happy Meal Kai. Our McDonald's is like a kid's life. Dead sucker. Now we're talking Sonic Skateboard. Sonic Skateboard. Rogue and Emmy Dennis. Rogue and Emmy Dennis. Dream Buffalo. Look how look how they massacred my girl though. Fucking thank you, Pakistan. Sonic Skateboard. So we got Sonic Skateboard. Rogue. So there's Amy. Amy looks roughly like Amy, right? And Emmy Dennis. Look what the fuck they did to Rouge. They beat my girl's ass! Look what they did to Rouge, dog! They made her a fucking mouse! And they gave her a mastectomy? Where are her tits? Where are her wings? What did they do to her? 
Tennis. Green buffalo cat. Green buffalo cat. Shadow basketball. Oh, of course. Of course they got my nigga Shadow playing hoops. Of course. What does he do after? Eat some fried chicken, some watermelon, do a dance for the white man? Of course they got the black one playing basketball. Fuck McDonald's, man. Knuckles baseball. Jeebar ka phir khelein. Khoob halla gulla machayein. Aur doston ko bhi patlaein. Chalo chal ke happy meal khayein. Chalo chale McDonald's se. Chalo chale McDonald's. Hell yeah. That's pretty good. Man, we uh, at some point I got to dig up more Pakistani uh, <laughs> McDonald's advertisements. We're not gonna watch good stuff until they, you know, keep watching bad stuff. So if you're familiar with Sonic Lolcows, you're familiar with Sonic ninety three. She is a very emphatic uh, Silver the Hedgehog fan, and she has a lot of controversies to her name. I'm working on a video about her, and uh, it's gonna be pretty okay. So, here's her screaming. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously! God, I, I miss when videos could just be a woman yelling. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm going to make a banger of a video. I promise. And yeah, I miss the old Dumpsville. Straight from the gold Dumpsville. Chop up the soul Dumpsville. I hate the new Dumpsville. Scream at dumb movies Dumpsville. So, yeah, of course I had to do it. I don't know if the Preston's still kicking around, but we're, we're watching a little bit of Tamers. We will eventually have a Tamer stream, though. I just wanted to pull this up to give people an idea of what to expect. During our tamer stream. It shall bang. It shall. Yeah, that's 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 that shit. That's that good shit right there. All right. Do you have a list of cringe PNG tubers? Uh, yeah, there's this guy named Black Brains. He talks about rap music that no one cares about too much. And uh, he says, ah, a lot. That guy's pretty cringe. Um, yeah, there are a few other people. But <laughs> but he's public enemy number one, man. That guy's a clown. Man, fuck that dude. Uh, patient Zero. It's chili dog time. It's chili dog time. This is a legendary video. This video is so infamous that no one even cares about what it's from. This is like behind the scenes footage of a weird live action Smash Bros parody that um who worked on this? If any of you guys know Psy Guy, he's also one of the Sonic Maniacs. So I'm very excited to talk about Psy Guy. But he was fairly involved in this There Will Be Brawl series that this infamous clip is from. So yeah, let's let's bring him back in. There he is. Oh, there he is. It's chilly down. It's chilly down. Yeah, yeah. He needs so much help because of the prosthetic. Wait, here, let's at least start. It's chilly down, Tam. Yeah, yeah. Depressed, and when we do plan the Tamers video, we you and I have to have like a meeting of the minds to figure out like what are like five or six essential Tamers uh, to watch. Like I want to make like a, a penultimate Tamers guideline. You know, like if you want to get someone into Tamers, what are the six you recommend? So we'll we'll talk about that at some point. <laughs> God, this is horrible. It's 
the fucking prosthetic. Why is she eating the whole thing in one go? He is rolling around with the speed of sound. It's chilly though, Tim. I can't lie, this guy who runs this channel hates women pretty bad. <laughs> oh god, he's got the gloves on the whole time too. I agree. It was a different era, Goodly. Silence women, I'm trying to laugh at the man. Okay, okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Sonic Adventure Team fucking Goku motherfucking. <laughs> no. 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 No, not that one. No. No. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think the, uh, <laughs> I, I think the Chili Dog video is one of the grossest things I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the Sonic Team. And we're gonna be fucking your shit up. So you better back up or we're gonna bitch slap you. <laughs> and I'm Tails. And that's Knuckles. And that's Shadow. Yeah, we gotta do the we gotta do the power tier list. I mean, we know the S tier and double S tier are are tamers and Bartleby Montclair of Dresden. But everything else is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Is this is this back when like Leafy was relevant? God, I hate this. I wish this guy wouldn't cut in so much. And this is Sonic. Sonic, bro, where are you? <laughs> you just Sonic. Just flew by. <laughs> where did Sonic go? Whoa, Sonic. What's up, Sonic? I love you, Sonic. These are the Sonic, two worst fandoms web together. Me, please. Together at last. Sonic, grab your web. Spray it on me. Is this is this a sexual ritual? Okay, thanks. Hey, we have Knuckles and we have Sonic, <laughs> and we're going to be trying to kill people in this block-based game. Are you ready? <laughs> Why do I just get the worst subtitles? The subtitles are more cringe than the content. How can I take you seriously? You talk like a pussy. I can't even possibly take you seriously in this moment, Sonic. Are you ready, Sonic? No. Sonic, nod your head. <laughs> okay, let's go. That's Knuckles, by the way. What's up, man? Sup? You still doing steroids, bro? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, hopefully this works. I don't expect much, though, because... Got to never mind. Let's do this. Oh shit, two million people. <laughs> we got this, Sonic. <laughs> I know. Sonic, your ass looks so good from here, man. I'm... I know, Goodly. I've never, I've never seen someone like out cringe their own cringe compilation, but here we are. Uh, it's a bit fucked up. <laughs> I kind of like it though. Hey, dude. Are we almost ready to go down? <laughs> I agree a lot. Are we almost you. ready to go down, Sonic? <laughs> the guys who made this video are a pussy, but not me, the cringe compiler. I'm very I'm cool. I'm very cool. Sweet! This is cool! Good work, Sonic! We'd be nothing without you! Yeah, thanks, Sonic. Hi, yeah, dude. The Sonic Squad shows no mercy! 
another episode of Sonic the Hedgehog with Sonic, obviously, oh, and Knuckles and Tails. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tails. See? I'm Tails. Ah, and that's Knuckles. Let's go. I don't, I don't even know how to fucking process this shit. I agree, though. I like, there's, there's nothing wrong with being cringe collectively. But yeah, nigga, I ain't watching all this. God damn. Normal tells him. They call me Sonic. 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 I'd have to listen to they call me Sonic after this. That's that's actually not a Sonic OC. Unless you're talking, are you talking about my Sonic OC? Or are you talking about uh, the green headshot? If you're talking about mine, thank you. Um, if not, then that is Scourge from the Archie comic. Oh, Sonic Squad since the Edward. That's how failure tastes. I've had enough. Oh, what, well, you gonna cry? You gonna cry now? No way. It's what? starting to bore me how much you suck. The, sc the scout. Thank you, Selvin. Sonic, this time there's no escape. Sonic. Ah! Mm? Oh. 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 Well, let's find out. Let's find out, okay? Go find it. They call me Sonic. <laughs> Where is it? God damn it. It's it's all just Cory memes, god damn it. I just wanna find out who the fuck made this stupid song. Alright, give me give me some personnel. Sonic Sound Studio, that's wrong. I know I know someone else worked on this. I'll find out. I'll find out. It's okay, I'll find out. Anyway anyway, back to this. Back to this. It is official. It was commissioned. It's always for. I cannot believe this. This did not just happen. Hey, you're not Sonic. What the hell is your problem? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this sucks. It always ends in war. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> oh, come is, on, is anybody paying attention to me? Hmm, I got it! If it's about a day, it'll have to wait! Amy, knock it off! Brace yourselves! <laughs> Dr. Eggman! I came here following the signal from the Emerald. Oh, hey, hey Doc! Yo, a little help here! <laughs> Thanks for the Chaos Emerald! This is a real freaking embarrassment. Shoot! Oh, he got. Wake me up! Wake me up! Oh, man. God damn, when the editor is more cringe than the content. God damn it! Why'd you do this? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Missing Templar. And that's okay. Thank you for popping in. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Film Nerd. That's, that's all I wanted. That's all I, I wanted, all I needed. They call me Sonic. Da -da 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 -da, with incredible speed.
Dang, I didn't notice that Neo Proto was afraid that he would get fired if he didn't participate in, uh, or if he did participate in this monstrosity. So I'm gonna play this banger. I just gotta grab a, I gotta grab some water. I'll be right back. But I will play this banger in the meantime. Cause I am passive in sound, I keep on jumping around. Blue hedgehog sonic, with incredible speed, I'm moving my feet. So are you guys enjoying this so far? <laughs> are you guys enjoying this complete, absolute, 100% banger right now? Alright, so... Who the fuck made this? Oscar Oberheim and Andrea Husick. I recall this album being like a... Um, I think it was like a German collaboration. Yeah, this is this is the Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Good, like you gotta remember that this album was released in 1993. Those graphics were nuts back then. Why they why they commission this? I'm the king of the ring. Oh, let's go! Come here and play with me. me I'm the king, king of, of the, the ring. ring. Bringing you the energy. This is the most obnoxious happy hardcore. I love it. I fucking love this shit. So some Sonic characters are gay, LGBTQ plus cringe compilation. And then we'll return to watching the, the cringe cringe man. The double level of cringe. I'm not king of that ring. Goodly, if you're going to be racist, at least spell the slur right. What, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. All right, we get it. You like gay people. We get it. We get it. I'm the king of I mean, that's a pretty easy acid scent. It's not, it's not anything remarkable. Like, any happy hardcore pack's gonna have a similar synthesizer. Sonic is gay in trance! The damn kids are seeing Sonic Shadow kissing. The hedgehogs are gonna get top surgery. Think of it, think of the children, think of the children. <laughs> I think we're done here. Think of the children. I I beg of you to to consider the children who are affected by this. All right, they want to take your shadow and Sonic kissing images away from you. Well, tails, I gotta go in for top surgery. <laughs> wow, wow, Sonic, 
your, your testosterone treatments are working great. Yeah, thanks, Tails. <laughs> Turning down this fucking ear poison. Look what they did to the ultimate life form. They made him gay. They made him gay. They made him. They made the ultimate life form gay. <laughs> All right, we we got a good one here. We got a live one here, brothers and sisters. My pronouns are they, them, Tails. Maybe you should switch it up. <laughs> we, are, we are all not ready for this. None of us. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Featuring Jaleel White? Okay, epic much? Um... God damn it, we gotta watch the Ken Penders trailer too, don't we? Stop spoiling all the funny shit. Got a speed, kid. Hey, Robotnik. You ever hit crack rock? No, Hedgehog, I've never hit the crack rock. You gotta smoke this shit, nigga. Hey, yo, bitch, nigga. Come on, Tails. Smoke that rock. Oh. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Chaos Rock. <laughs> Emerald. I've never smoked a crack at all. I love you missing out, my nigga. Seeing this, fellow fat man, are you seeing this? Hey, yo, what's up with my man's hair, though? I'm sorry, we gotta we gotta pause on this nigga. What the fuck is up with my man's hair? Did they give him a wig? What the fuck is up with my man's hair? I've never seen a black man with hair like that in my goddamn life. What the fuck is up with my man's hair? Mobius represents unity. I don't doubt it. In which oh, I think it is rental floss. I think you're right. I think you're right, Preston. All nations can function in unified harmony. It's the same goal. Betterment of the future and mankind. You got fucking fake Michael Douglas in this. <laughs> Are you gonna pay me in booze? Yeah, I'll, I'll act in your fucking movie. Uh, just buy me a bottle of Maker's Mark. This 
represents the first threat to this unit. Various sources have theorized that the attack was orchestrated by acclaimed roboticist Dr. Julian Kintober. His whereabouts have been unknown for the last two months, wanted for questioning for crimes against humanity. <laughs> South <laughs> Island is home to some of the most intense. <laughs> Yo, I'm laughing like Naga from Slayers. I got my hand up like an evil woman in an anime right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? They got it. <laughs> I knew he was in this, but yo! <laughs> this shit got me pumped. My nigga got a blue shirt on. <laughs> y'all gotta, y'all gotta help me. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta pick my goddamn body up. <laughs> nigga, I'm fucking laughing like Sideshow Bob at this shit. What the fuck, nigga? Intelligent animal life on Mobius. <laughs> Many are still speculating what Kintobor's intentions are in eliminating all life on the island. <laughs> Julian Kintobor. He is no more. I am now Robotnik. Robotnik. I represent the perfection the society needs. Based as I envision a society. Very based as sole leader. My society. My leadership. We have no choice but to retaliate. <laughs> Straight up, this guy, this guy's like an actor in like a Tim and Eric sketch. Like that's the vibe I get from this fucking drunk that they got for this movie. Is like he's like a Tim and Eric or like a Nathan for you act. Like he's he's like a, a fucking wash up loser that you pay like fifty dollars to. <laughs> the fucking broke Michael Douglas is killing me. G U N units are being deployed as we speak in an effort to combat the threat of Kentober's forces. You know, you know that like he just went on camera with that shirt on and was like, look. I'm the fucking nerd. And Julian Kintabor, that guy is a donkey fucking shit eared motherfucker. Yeah. Think about your dad, Goodly. What's your dad like? Take a step back and imagine this. Oh, he sounds so old. And this was like, this was like 10 years ago, and Jaleel sounds so cooked. How much did they pay Jaleel? Chat, how much did they pay Urkel to come back? How much? How much? How much did fucking who directed this piece of shit? Eddie LeBron. Fucking Urkel does like cameos for a grand. They they cut him such a fat check. You know they cut him so much fucking money to half ass this shit. Shout out Urkel. The perfect world. A place where you can just kick back, just enjoy everything around you. Yeah. Freedom. Free. Then imagine seeing all that taken away because one bloated egg man wanted it all. Some well, big ass someone has to get all that back, and it's gonna be me. I'll tell you everything, how it got this way, and how I'm gonna make sure it goes back. Big bro. Shh, try to keep up since I move very quickly. Oh man, he's so cooked. Why do you do this? <laughs> Why do you do this, man? <laughs> Oh, there he is! There's our man! Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. This is your last chance. Have you seen the blue blur? Answer the question or face the consequences. Dug off that pack. Dug off that pack. Have two options: 
Did he hit Doug? Oh, he looks so fucking bad in this. Those quills. Oh my god. They massacred my boy. They massacred my boy. Way past cool, huh? was captured yesterday when a battalion you know what's the worst part is like nostalgia critic sketches be exactly like this now <laughs> i'm surprised the fucking uh who's that nigga he always puts in his videos that unfunny black dude malcolm whatever i'm surprised malcolm hasn't shown up yet Italian of robotnik's drones entered a firefight with a gun squad hey on yo second the came to the rescue and destroyed all droids in a matter of seconds this marks the eighth speed. time this mysterious hero has rescued a gun squadron in a jail. The Empire is looking out for your best interest. Order and structure is the key to utopia where all are equal. A utopia where faith in machines and robotics will lead to prosperity beyond a your wildest A $20,000 reward has been issued for any information leading to the identity or arrest of the Blue Blur. Did she say $20,000? That's such a small amount of money for, like, a reward for a terrorist. $20,000 is like a, like, missing person money. Not to say that that's, you know, that's bad or whatever, right? But, like, like we're talking about someone who's, like, taking down an entire military infrastructure alone. And you're gonna, you're gonna opt for $20,000? Like, the assets in my home are worth $20,000. The blue blur is currently wanted for insurrection. I don't know all these stupid cameos. I was, like, outside while you guys were watching these people. Who the fuck is stuttering Craig? ...against the Robotnik Empire. That's Various very small. Believe that the That's blue not blur a lot of money. ...is non-human South Islander. But those rumors were shot down by Robotnik in this statement. They're all... extinct. I made sure of that. The Blue Blur's first act of insurrection took place approximately three weeks ago. All right, I can I can concede when something's kind of good. The guy who's playing Robotnik's not that bad. Like obviously the dialogue he's being given is shit. This guy's the best actor in the stupid thing. Like, he's, he's delivering this dumbass dialogue as well as he can. Good for him. So, you've seen it? I, I don't know what it is. I barely got a good look. You were there. You saw plenty. Ah, uh, never mind. I retract all the statements I made. Now that he's talking more, he's all so awful. <laughs> Show me what it is. Show me what it is. No. <laughs> Robot, uh, do be kind of a baddie. What? Humanity used to be a God-given right. Now it's a privilege. You follow the rules, I allow you to keep it. But when you don't, you must lose your humanity. I don't know anything. Please, don't. Prep our friend for roboticization. No! You goddamn monster! You goddamn monster! All this will end soon. If we don't take you down, the blue blur will... The 
blue blur. A blue blur. Are these also cameos? I don't think he's half bad either. Like, like the acting is really dry. But I think that that guy's working with the material as well as he can. I remember Leonardo DiCaprio saying, like, they've never made a good movie out of a bad script. And that's probably a pretty goddamn good quote. Because if you have dog shit to work off of, it's very hard to make that captivating or interesting. You were there! Oh, please don't! <laughs> Can we make it from here? Any closer and they'll spot us. I don't want to be here all day. Take aim. Cover him. Oh shit! Out. Is that Alvin from Community? Is that oh, Aiden? Just watch. Shut it. These are absolutely cameos as well. I don't know who the fuck these people are, but they're probably from Screw Attack or some fucking streamer thing that was big at the time. It feel it feels like they got like one actor, like one actual actor, and that was the Robotnik guy. And I would argue Jaleel White, but you can hear Jaleel White is so fucking cooked. He is, he is like just sleepwalking through this shit. I don't want to be here. Buzz bombers! They know we're here. Freeze! <laughs> Leave it! Run! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Scramble! Oh, man. <laughs> he looks so bad. <laughs> get, get in the back. Cover the back. I like how the other two are just, like, canoodling. Ayo Arsene, what's good? Also Koi, what's good? <laughs> Impressed? Impressed? I know, I know. I can make quite an entrance. You know oh! Oh! oh, it's rough. Also, thank you for sticking around, Phil. You have a good night, man. Oh, I can come back and do that again. An oh. Islander. The blur. The blue blur. Pretty sure you've heard of me, considering I'm number one on Robotnik's hit list. The blue blur is cool, but you got me, Sonic. <laughs> See something you like? Yeah, Jaleel. Jaleel is reading this dialogue as quickly as possible, isn't he? Like, he's, he's just, like, speed walking through this dialogue. I, I've never seen anything like it. Like, he's just like... <laughs> That's... A... Koi, like, this is the guy who voiced Sonic for years. He he played Sonic in... Um, uh, Jaleel White, also known as Steve Urkel. He voiced Sonic in The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And he voiced Sonic in Sat AM and Sonic Underground. This guy played Sonic the Hedgehog for, like, I shit you not, like a decade. He was, like, the de facto voice of Sonic. So them getting him back for this was probably a big deal to them. But, like, you can hear, you can hear he's done. He's cooked. He's, like, so fucking tired of doing this shit. It's sad. It's pretty sad. Like, when he was doing that voice um, in those shows, he would have been, like, in his late teens, early 20s, probably. When he was working on Sat AM and like, um, because he was doing Family Matters around the same time. So he would have been around like 18, 19, 20. But now we're listening to like a 40 year old man try and sound like he's a 20 year old man. And it's, it's rough. It is, it is rough, rough. Uh, I hope not. I mean, you're pretty and all, but no. Uh. <laughs> Oh, he sounds so old. <laughs> You're a hedgehog. The top feminist. 
If only this feminist so go away. Coming. I'm gonna go and have some fun. Catch you guys next time. See ya. Let's do some jam time. Nah, man, Jaleel White is NBA old boy. Him. Him. Catch me if you can, suckers. He probably did, man. Have you been to Hollywood? Have you been to Hollywood even at the TV level? You know how much fucking, like, coke Jaleel White probably snorted? My man Jaleel probably did all the drugs. He sounds pained. Is it one of them? I wish I was dead, Pails. <laughs> the running. <laughs> the running is so bad. And if <laughs> so good laugh. Hey, what's good, Zeke? Come on. Thank you for joining us. That can't be all you got. Send more. Kill it. Kill it. Send more after it. This guy, this guy playing Eggman's trying so hard. Like, genuinely. We've we've talked about this previously. He is the only actual actor in this fucking stupid thing. And it's abundantly clear that he's he's like uh Weird, weird technocrat, obese man is my role. I'm gonna play this as best as I can. Good for him, man. Uh, cause I couldn't, I couldn't imagine working with Doug Walker and the AVGN to make a real movie. Motobots and roots. What to do, Zuki? He doesn't say Pingus. He doesn't say Snoop Pingus as usual. Whole lot of red, Neo. Whole lot of red. <laughs> God damn, the CG is so scuffed. Steel zoom, the rack zoom on that. Yeah. All right. My man's reverse Doctor Strange it's loving this no shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. They they are stuck. Those quills are stuck. Appreciate you wasting your lunch, Suki. Thank you, homie. We need him. He'll give us a fighting chance. You can't be serious. Gun needs him. After everything Sonic did, I'm sure the commander would agree. She's right, Anthony. He's this on is the Sonic fan we'll film that they got Urkel side, back for. Can we trust him? I think we all know that he's. One of them. One of what? A South Islander. We don't know anything about him. You saw what he did. Could be a show. Luckily, it ain't your decision. <laughs> we know our enemy. A freak. A South Islander. Priorities have shifted. Kill the hedgehog at all cost. Get his image up immediately. A reward increased to 100,000. <laughs> like, if there was a sci fi channel acting awards ceremony, this Robotnik would win. <laughs> ...and incarceration immunity has been issued for any information that can lead to the arrest of the Blue Blur, who has been identified as Sonic. This security photo was taken moments ago in the outskirts of the Green Hill Zone so where he was Islander. last spotted. I thought we contained all South Island animal life. If this thing is still alive, there may be more. There's no room for- He's trying so fucking hard. 
Like, I'm not saying, like, he's an Oscar winner. I'm just saying this guy's the only person who tried. <laughs> he just didn't walk through their fucking dialogue. The South Islander. I thought we contained them. For his kind. I want a thorough... Suki, that's foul, but island. it's true. And as far as the Sonic, I want the majority of the forces concentrated on him. Can you not see that I am not in the mood for any more nonsense? This will lift your spirits. A South Islander? I swear to God, these South Islanders, man. They don't work. They don't actually do anything around here. These South Islanders. Why don't they go back to their own island? <laughs> Who is this guy, man? I hope he got work. I really do hope he got work. Yeah, Depression, I did see Doug Walker's performance where he was quiet and balding. <laughs> that was pretty good. I liked how bald and quiet he was. I, I can't lie, Doug Walker is probably the second best actor in the thing. South Islands, uh, you, uh, you, you're different. You're different. You know what they say about South Islanders. <laughs> I like how this has like the horrific Hans Zimmer drums. Of boom, 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 boom. Like over everything, the man of steel drums, the Tarzan drums. Fucking <laughs> bitter batter in his feet. Toy, you're right. Just hear the, just hear the. <laughs> oh shit! That we were all in for. Yo, why'd they give Knuckles fingers? <laughs> Why did they, why'd they give them those fingers? Oh man, that was that was that was good. That was pretty fucking good. Written and directed by Eddie LeBron. Growing <laughs> around <laughs> Alright, so starring Jaleel White. DJ Hazard. I don't know who DJ Hazard is. Cool name. Lauren Shasher. Gary Lee Mahmoud. Celia O. Oh. Artie Brennan. Show the cameo, it's you cowards! So we got James Rolfe, who's the light news commentator. Oh, shit! Oh shit, the cameos keep coming. Ego Raptor and Kerbifer were the droids. I repeat to all my niggas, Ego Raptor, Aaron Ego Raptor Hansen, and Chris Kerbifer Niosi were the droid voices. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Why'd they get all these people for this stupid thing? <laughs> Who the fuck is Hazard? Why do you guys know these people? <laughs> All I know is my boy Gary Mahmoud is in it. So <laughs> I'm going to take a very brief, uh, brief break, fill up my water bottle, take a whiz, and then we will get right back into Sonic Mania. All right. So thank you very much for being here. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, let's let's play some goddamn tunes. Why don't we? I'll be right back.
Goddamn, Zuki. You come into my house, shit in my bathtub, and you don't even have the common decency to pay for my college? Pay for my college! What did, what did I miss? What did I miss while I was grabbing water and kissing? Fingers the echidna. Yeah, no Runka Chunk. No Runka Chunk, sadly. No Rena Chan. She was probably too busy doing pony dubs at that point. Arlo ain't a slime, but he's my slime. Why a cell? Why a cell? PDE! Rap, rap, rap! We're playing the song out, though. I fucking love this song. The Sonic OVA is so good. If you get a chance, watch that shit. know a nigga clean with the fades man i'm i'm on this dj shit slap 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 oh there i am surprised bunger surprised brand bunny i love these stills man shout out egg anyone who knows egg knows that egg does amazing work egg made these amazing sonic stills for me for this and for my upcoming sonic series that i'm working on uh so big shout out big funny egg Egg is the best. Did I wash my hands? Of course I washed my hands. Why would you ask that? Who do you think I am? I'm not I'm not a I'm not a fucking gross person. Why would why would you ask that of me? I'm not getting defensive. You're getting defensive. Oh no. Alright, we got a Mogus but with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah! Tails! Hello! Egg the best! Uh, Egg the best! <laughs> Come on, man, this is gonna be good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> No, my my toes are secure. I'll wash my toes later. The little curl above my eye. Okay. Yeah. I think I think that's just a stylistic flair. I don't know what you're talking about. Eggman is sus lamau. Yeah. What the? Come on, no. Sonic, you've, you've done this before, man. Come on. Yes, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they using custom sprites for a bunch of these characters who have sprites? I maybe that's just me being a sped. I know Rouge doesn't. And well, I think Rouge actually does have a sprite. She has a Sonic Battle sprite. Yeah, these niggas fucked up. <laughs> My toes are normal. <laughs> My toes are normal. They're regular toes. Oh yeah. All right. Woohoo! Hey, you're late. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you 
think you have to fixate it on my lower extremities. I... Knuckles was not the imposter. Yeah, I, uh, goodly, like, Cream has, like, a cannon sprite from Sonic Advance. They picked a weird sprite for her. Is that because I wear socks? I don't know. Eggman. Y'all nasty. Eggman. Eggman. What? Okay. <laughs> Damn, he killed mine. Damn, Metal Sonic popping these niggas. Doctor. Shadow! Goodbye, Doctor. Chaos Control! Chaos Hot Spear! Oh, you're talking about Rouge. Yeah, well, same dip. She has a cannon spray. And, a and Amy has a cannon sprite as well. They like deliberately chose lewd sprites. They deliberately chose weird sprites to use. No problem. <laughs> You're not wrong, Depressed. You are not wrong. So that was that was terrible. That was fucking awful. <laughs> no, he did it. He was allowed to do it that time. We're not gonna. We're not gonna watch this right now because we've got, we've got to watch more. <laughs> we've got to watch more of this angry man's cringe compilations where he gets mad at things being cringy. Cringe man fights the compilation. I know it wasn't good. I don't like it either. Is this like a Vocaloid parody or something? Am I missing something? Is this just dumb? I don't know! Promote that man, good <laughs> Yeah, seems seems to be Kazuma. How long is this? <laughs> oh, it's it's long. Yeah, oh, it's long. Oh, it's, it's long. Yeah. Okay, nah, 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 nah. Why do you know that coin?
Finally, some real content. Thank God. I'm gonna. I. I am going to take this opportunity to be salty about music. Uh, niggas get too too many goddamn passes for writing four four pop songs just because they're Japanese. That song sounded like shit. What is that waltz? Like that, that sucked. That sucked. I don't. I don't care if that guy got signed to Monica or whatever. Like <laughs> I'm sure I sound indignant, but I I think that a lot of people who write J-pop and J-rock get such a fucking pass just because they're Japanese when the structure's dog shit. Uh, you just use a waltz motif, or you use a, a, a write in fucking five eight or something, and you call that like halfway decent songwriting. It's like it's, I don't know, I don't know. I I just don't fuck with it. I personally do not fuck with it. But anyway, back to good content. Yes, let's go. We got some. <laughs> This is Sonia smiling yeah. and <laughs> yeah, I'm right. just getting bored out of my mind. Is there come anything special? Being Swedish. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm going to do something for Swedish type me. Is it just me or is it kind of hot now? I mean, they should. They, they should use different time signals. Oh no! 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 My boy! Huh? No! Stay away from me! Stay Where away from you? me! I am a hedgehog. A hedgehog? Wait, wait, wait! Hedgehogs can't talk! Oh, but do they dance? Pretty good, eh? So you're a hedgehog, eh? A hedgehog? Now, come inside. What's going on in here? Nothing. We were just about to watch some YouTube videos. Wanna join? Uh, who watches YouTube hey, hey, videos? Hey, talk! Who watches it? This, this might be the most off-base moment Knuckles has ever had. Who watches YouTube videos? Everyone? Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> God damn! Uh, we got we got run back to Knuckles being a completely shady bitch right here. Let's watch some YouTube videos. Want to join? Uh, who watches YouTube videos? Yuck. Yuck. That disgusts me. Okay, I'm ready to smash. I've got your back, Sonic. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess I forgot to mention you weren't invited. But I brought some pals. And and here, look at. I brought yeah. Tails. Yo, Tails is here. Hmm. Ah, am I even going to use his trophy? All the stars are here. Shrek, Tails, Amy. <sighs> this Another is Knuckle for regular kid. Hey, Knuckle what's on press. the agenda for tomorrow? The summer's almost over, Sonic. I'm going to have to go back to school tomorrow. No way. You don't have to do that, Tails. Yeah, you come on, You can learn Tails. everything you need to know from me. But, Sonic, you don't even have a house. Or possessions. Or clothes. I know. Isn't it great? Looking up at the stars at night. All right. If you're so smart, what's that star? Right there. Oh, uh, that one. You mean the, um, 
Uh, the, the chili dog? Yeah, <laughs> chiliest doggiest is its formal name. And that big one over there is called the egghead. I feel like you're just making these up, Sonic. Why yeah, would I come on, that? Sonic. Tails. Life is like... Sonic, that's Cap. Sonic, come on, man. The wind. You gotta go where it takes you. Okay, then. I'm gonna let it take me to school. Have fun. <laughs> Damn, base <laughs> tails. Like me and you, chili dog. Picking this education. Hi, Sonic. Ah, tails, wait. Oh, Sonic. Now we can be together. Amy, just leave me alone. Oh, hey, Knuckles. Long time no see. <laughs> Yo, Knux. <laughs> Knuckles. What? Can you even hear anything? What do you mean, Sonic? You don't... <laughs> you don't have ears. What What if I really don't... Are we telepathic? Well, well Tails definitely is. You always make me think these Knuckles. thoughts. Get out of my head. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, what an idiot. Feel the beat! Uh. Kick a treat, Faker! Oh, hello. I see you've decided to dress like a winner for once. <laughs> I just thought I'd take things slow tonight. Hmm. Well, I thought Halloween costumes were supposed to be... You missed uh, a bunch of bizarre Sonic the Hedgehog sketches done in, like, what is this, SFM or something? I don't even know. Um... Yeah, you, you missed you missed some bullshit, Mako. Scary. Do you know what they say? <laughs> Imitation's the sincerest form of flattery. Faker! Hey, I'm not a faker, you faker! Well, I'm the coolest. You're too slow. <sighs> oh, look at me. Hey, I'm cool and way Hey, Sonic! Fast. Wait, look, too many... So Rain! Going Happy Halloween. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Cringe compilation compiled. Let's have some. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're not looking. We're not looking at any of this. Did this track it needed? Probably for the best. Why? 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 Why's my man got oh, got pink eye covering all the weird? Ch oh, okay. Maybe maybe that's for the best. Maybe that's for the best. But why why include it? Why include porn? Why include the porn? Why would you include the porn if you have to censor the porn? It's a beautiful day outside. Shower racing, knuckles are. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. It's a shame Zuki's not here. Searching on days like these, furries like you should be burning in the lava reef zone. Turn around, Tails. It'd be a crime. If I had to go back on that chili dog you made for me, so don't step over that line, or else, friend, you're gonna have a fast time. But kids like you are too slow in general, and guys like me need the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Let's go to the Green Hill Zone. Hey, let's go, or you'll be flying alone. Hey, go ahead and try to beat me if you're, you're able. able. Don't you know I'm inexplicably inflatable? Uh. I can tell you're getting sick of all these trials. Yeah, but I think you're just mad. Your name's Miles. You're not gonna fix what we made together. Sega will keep making games forever. Let's go! Come back cooler, introducing my new friend Jeffrey the Cougar. My games are way past cool. Way past cool. Way past cool. All right. Way past cool. Way past cool. Way. I never thought I'd see the day when the Sonic the Hedgehog and Steven Universe fandoms would collide and make something this dog shit, but. Here we are. Hey, that's cool. You're too slow. Come on, step it up. Sonic speed. It's no use. Oh, yeah. This is happening. Ah, now I'll show you. Super Sonic style. 
Facts. This is me as a wet hog. This is me as a fruit bowl. If you think these are bad, then you should get off my console. You just don't understand. Please just get out of my way. Can you even feel the sunshine? And does it brighten up your day? So go ahead and try to beat me if you're able. Don't yeah, you know Sonic, you're too slow Sonic kind of snapped on this shit, bro. Try to creep me in this throw down. Yeah. But I'll be spinning circles over you till sundown. You huh? should know by now that the end is near. The end yeah. of this race, this is why we're here. I'll what? keep on spinning. I'll keep on winning. You better step it up, Fox. My games are way, way past cool. Way past cool. Way past cool. But I think I'm faster than you. Way past cool. Way past cool. Way past cool. But I think I'm faster than you. That was that was him as a fruit bowl. If if you have an issue with that, goodly, just stop playing the games. Stop playing the games. Yeah, but he's an extremely smart child, so that makes him an adult, Clark. He might as well be 20. Yeah, it wasn't, he's, he's too smug. Someone's got to put that, someone's got to put that, like, 12-year-old in his place, or however old Tails is. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I see. Peak has arrived. Peak has arrived. Thank you very much. Ha! Oh, my cancer! Can't believe this man doesn't realize the Tamers is Peak. It's a classic case of the cringiest person made the cringe compilation. That's some good shit right there. In the old park. You forgot that those diamonds have. A guardian. Knuckles, don't do this. Remember what happened last time with that Joe guy? Who cares? You're finally Pete. Tamers, one, two, three, four, five, stream soon. Take this! I warn you. You'll find out soon, Zekaran. You'll find out soon. Queen Salamander Cuttlefish, what was going on over there at Sonic Team Headquarters when this mistake happened? I hate when people use other people's jokes to be funny, and then they just bass boost it. The guy played the whole sketch. I hate this guy, man. We're moving on. Watching, we're watching this. Who's this pink baby? Back off! I have a kissy missy monster. <laughs> kissy schmissy. Wait till we show you how to play. Does she have long arms and legs? Oops. Why are these two children to have leather coats? I'm gonna take you down in no time! Oh! Sonic! You're my superhero! Let's go! Shit, that's pretty meta, Goodly, but... I don't- I don't want you thinking too hard, man. Once you start thinking, you might realize that I'm ripping you off. Oh, what about a ride, Amy? Swings are the best thing ever! You're like- Goodly, you're like the Adam Egan to my Norm Macdonald. That's our dynamic. You know, like... <laughs> like, we're both funny, but we're different types of funny. And we, we compliment each other. So, shout out Goodly Draws. Greatly appreciate your time, your help, your assistance, your patience. Hi! <laughs> That's high! Oh, Even shit. higher? No, no, no! Why the fuck are a JoJo's reference in this? Frosty. What is happening? Let's dance. Hey, sweetie. What is it? Here's an appreciation kiss. Bam! Caught it. Caught it. He takes me for granted. Who is that in my spot? Hey, Peach. Get out of here. New girl, come over. This is Rogue, our new student. Be nice to her. What the heck? You bat. Don't get any idea. Yeah, I, I don't know quite. Yeah, those kids are probably in a bad situation if they're in this. Yeah, undoubtedly. Yes, Sonic. I can't even meet people. <laughs> you have a hand in that, Rogue? There's more. 
This is a private conversation, Goodly Jaws. What was that? Whoa, what are you plotting? I want to show you something. You'll love it. That's a charming mustache, Dr. Eggman. You know, this is even nicer. I think he looks younger with no stash. Good thinking. What's going on here? Amy, that's not what you... This is literally Sonic High School. Man, her voice is brutal. Amy, it's not what you think. You think? Come clean, you rat. Do you have a new love interest? Hush, you jealous girl. All I wanted was to ask him out to a museum. Two museum tickets? Okay, the third ticket is for you. I'm really in the museums. Hey, it's that way. Wow. <laughs> Please stop. We'll skip ahead. But yeah, this is this is pretty rough. Can't lie, this is pretty uh, pretty hard. Pretty hard to watch. Okay, breaking out. This content is this content is profoundly targeted. This is this is like so deliberately pointed at young children who don't know how to operate an iPad. The big guns. <gasps> Finally. No. no kissing in class. So much for the love vibes. Come on. What's going on? Classic, classic soloing being thirsty in chat. No kissing in class. I want to talk to your parents. Did they play the Mortal Kombat Toasty? What the fuck is this shit? Right. Oops. Gotta go. Another day, another messed up class. Gotta tie up loose ends. She's up to something. I'll expose the thief. Detective Amy steps up. What? It's, it's pissing me off. Why is she talking like that? I don't know any kids who like this shit. Like, I don't think a kid would enjoy hearing this either. Oh, Steve! <laughs> Goodly, you sent me so much bullshit, man. All right. All the Sonic characters is dogs. Thank you for sending me this, Goodly. How, how could this this man ask it? Oh, hey, if I had a job, I'd ask for pay. You sent me this. We're going to turn popular Sonic characters into dogs. But before we're, we're going to put we're going to turn popular Sonic characters into dog. Thordad, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Emmy Rose as a dog. Emmy Rose as a dog. Goodly's Goodly's really pressing me about financials. <laughs> and he says to me, Emmy Rose as a dog. Goodly draws. And it takes this long to switch. Tails as a dog. Tails as a dog. Hey, let's go. Dr. Eggman is a dog. Oh man, that dog's that dog's unhealthy. Dr. Eggman is a dog. But Omega is a dog. It's Omega. Is a... Why does he have dreadlocks? His Metal Sonic is a dog. He's depressed. Knuckles is a dog. All right, we're done here. <laughs> Let me look up Sonic High School. We'll we'll probably wrap up on Sonic High School. <laughs> I did ask for bad. I I sadly did ask for bad. I don't want the remake of Sonic High School. Where the. F I just want the fucking fanfic. Right. Yeah, I don't. I definitely do not want the remake of Sonic High School. I just want regular Sonic High School. 
Sonic High School. Esmeralda, you mean you mean out of the pocket way too much. Sega High School. Sonic High. Shit, I might just have to go to Google. Sonic High School. Chapter One. There. God damn it, why can't I find this shit? Why can't I find the original Sonic High School? If anyone has Sonic High School, please send it to me. Because I can't find the original. I can I can find the shitty remake, which I do not want to read. I want to read the original. Fuck. Okay, I guess we're reading the remake. Yeah, you best. You best calm, calm down. Okay, well, I mean, we're not, we're probably not going to find it, actually. I really don't want to read the remake. So, yeah, we'll, we'll hold off. I'll play a few more stupid videos and then I think we will wrap up. Fucking ass. This is a very good compilation of Sonic's 25th anniversary. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a lot to take in. Yourself, where did all the fucking go so wrong? That's one person, it's not just whatever, it's fucking 25 years of fucking fucked up world trying to fuck me over, trying to fucking destroy me, and the fucking anger needs to come out, it needs to be unleashed. <laughs> God, I feel for this. I feel for this guy who is in the Sonic costume. Nah, you're good. You're good, Esmeralda. Just chill. God, I fucking hate this world so much. Fucking it, the hatred that I feel right now is so strong. It's just, it's fucking more powerful than anything I've ever felt in my entire life. I see everybody clapping. Hello, Templar. Imagine you bought a. Fucking ticket for this event. You paid money to be here. You paid a lot of money to be here. <laughs> well, thank you for talking One, two, to me. So angry, so hateful, so full of hatred right now at this fucking fucked up world. It's a fucking worthless piece of shit world. It needs to fucking just. It's just. This is what you fucking done to me. Thank you, everybody. Give me a great night tonight. Down to the fuck. <laughs> the, the, the fucking horrible audio on <laughs> the entire one. Hopefully, hopefully all of y'all are, are not using headphones like I am right now. You guys like our memes? The, the fucking audio hiss is brutal. Did any of you guys come from overseas or outside the country to get here? Where'd you come this from? Is a, this is a good-ass video to get Indiana, tonight, that's too. Not I love country, this. Man. How about a real out of country? <clears throat> oh, no, it's him. Yes, my name's Evo, but I don't think that's what my parents intended when they named me. Um, so it's... <laughs> the fucking audio hum is killing me. I love it. I, I don't know if I can handle it, but I love it. <laughs> so it's not... <laughs> it's... And... There's so much information we want to...
we would like to begin. Hey, buddy, you calm down for just, just one second, all right? Let me finish. Hey, all chill right, out. Man, okay. Chill out, man. Chill, chill out. Thank you for 25 years of loyalty. Thank you for. <laughs> Holy fuck, the audio levels. Who? I for, I forgot how fucking unprofessional the this shit was. Like, for being here tonight and enjoy the show. Welcome to the stage, the man himself, June Senoe. Oh, there he is. Jun, 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 Jun son. There he is. Okay, so don't time. You, and you, all you, of you, all of you. Us. It's such a bad time. Floating in the air. You and I are the same in the way that. The fucking crutch for you vocalist ain't looking so hot. Yours! My time to say! Sing it out! I didn't engineer the event, okay? I, I didn't mix this fucking horrible event. This is all them. <laughs> what, you don't know the iconic Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Woo! What are you doing? That's the sound of 25 years of Sonic. Sing it. Watch, watch, right here, right here. <laughs> that's, that's, this is precisely why you don't give the mic to Sonic the Hedgehog fans. Good God. This was an official Sega event, guys. And like... This is this is no joke. This was an official fucking event. That was beautiful. Black million faces. I recognize them all. Sing it. <laughs> Soon I I will flip I will flip the sonic the the sonic buzzing noise and i will make a hard fucking beat i flipped worse i have flipped worse i flipped the growing around song last time i haven't played it yet you guys are gonna hear the incredible beat i made out of the growing around theme song i will i will absolutely flip this like i don't mean to flex this shit because a lot of you don't know what goes into production but i'm that dude i am that dude and all the placements I got, all the shit I do is very, very deserving. Because this nigga knows how to produce. I will flip the hum. You know what? I'll see you in a minute. The lead singer at Crush 40 is uh, pretty goddamn good. Damn guitar, Johnny! Take a chance, cause there is no... I will flip anything. When you lose your mind, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic Oh yeah, for the for the people who weren't here for that stream where I flipped chopping onions into a hard beat, I'm unstoppable. Like, I'm not I'm not I'm not fucking playing around. I'm good at this shit. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. Sonic! 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 I love you guys! <laughs> it's been a long day for this man. He flew in all the way from Japan. Poor Jun. Poor Jun. To be with you. He's had only one piece of...
the guitar guy he uh, Jin Sanoe did the soundtrack for like Adventure One and Two, so he he deserves his kudos. Jin Sanoe is a very good composer. Sushi. They are gonna kiss. They probably have in the past. I've been performing. They have kissed in the past, undoubtedly. For 18 years. It was a hard ending. June wore a diaper. Things rolling? Yeah, you didn't stop anything, right? Good. All right, you're not fired. It's good. I'm just kidding. So, hang on a second. I'm, I gotta lay down a second. Folks, in the entertainment business, this is called killing time. All right, you understand what I'm doing here? We're starting. Why is it this hard for you to not make a foot joke, Esmeralda? <laughs> they should have started kissing. Falling. Now you're out on the floor. Whoa. Yeah, uh, yeah, Crush 40 isn't about music, all right? It's, it, my man's crushing bussy. He ain't crushing 40. He might be pushing 40, but he's crushing bussy. Uh, I believe it was. Yeah, this is the same event that they also had the Totino's Pizza Roll booth as well. Why was this? Why was this? This is like Sonic's 25th anniversary. They pulled out all the stops. They didn't even they didn't even mix the audio, but they pulled out all the stops. You paid it. I saw a lot of you guys standing outside very early in the morning. God bless you guys, man. That's awesome. God bless you. And make sure you pick up a new Crush 40 t-shirt. People, people... <laughs> oh man, the hustle never ends. Thank you. Please Great. buy the merch at the also, back. True story. Can you imagine like you worked on one of the biggest video games in history, all right? You did the music for one of the biggest video games in the history of video games. Undoubtedly, Sonic Adventure, one of the biggest releases ever. And you are still doing the, the classic gigging musician. There are t-shirts and CDs at the back. That's brutal. That is brutal. Our stage manager, Brent, just bet me 50 bucks that I couldn't eat an entire box of Totino's stuffed nachos. Sonicを応援してくれてる皆さんに、皆さんに対して本当に心から感謝しています。私にとってソニックは本当子供みたいなもの。<laughs> test, test, one, two. Test, right, test. good. Let's keep moving. So, for the next part of tonight's event, we got a special guest who came all the way from the UK. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to the live stream for the Sonic the Hedgehog 25th anniversary party sponsored by Totino's. I have some very special guests. Sponsored by fucking Totino's. <laughs> Chief Brand Officer of Sonic, Mr. Ivo Kurskovich. Excellent. Sonic, I hear you've got a special friend that you want to introduce tonight. Is that right? Sean, you can't act. You cannot act like that song, that Shadow of the Hedgehog music wasn't dope. Okay. I can't believe I get to say this, but please also welcome to the stage and give a warm welcome to the infamous Hello Kitty. Oh shit! Classic crossover. This is like Watch the Throne for people who have arrested development. This is like Jay-Z and Kanye for people who have a serious problem with letting go of their childhood. Hello Kitty and Sonic the Hedgehog on the same stage. Let's fucking go! And right now the live stream is like, that was not on my bingo card at all. There's gonna be some other plush out there and it's gonna be available fall at specialty. They're all here! Hey. Before we start, can we, can we take a selfie? And you know what? Let's get the audience in the shot, too. Yeah, let's do it. All please, right, please, for the love of God. Sonic. Come on over, Sonic. I don't care what you think. My fucking videos are corny. I don't give a fuck. It's no doubt that this is going to be a really successful partnership. And so when we're thinking about, well, you... <laughs> why, why, is, why is Kitty getting that goddamn close to Sonic? Let's be real. 
guys know this. There's a lot of different Sonics out there. Yeah, Sonic did cross over with Hooters, which uh, we may not get to this time, but we will we will get to Sonic Hooters next time. So what we're thinking about... We'll miss you, Sonic. Come back soon, okay? Someone needs All to right, hit we'll the ready. stage with the Dragon Slave, Esmeralda. All right, guys. Now, hopefully, our people in costume are ready to go. Yeah, Cosmo, costume. you're, uh... As we do this, you're speaking from a perspective, undoubtedly. ...to give you guys watching at home... Oh, man. Some stuffed nachos. Hell, yeah. We are here inside the Totino's Lounge, where they've given us an exclusive opportunity. The world debut of the Totino's Stuffed Nachos. These come in two... Yeah, fuck Sonic, man. We got stuffed nachos in the clear room? Come on, man. Like, <laughs> this sponsorship is brutal. Old tasty flavors, queso and supreme. They have a triangular shape and a crispy crust, and they're sure to satisfy everybody's snacking needs. I'm down. And all the nacho without the mess. Now, I'm lucky enough Totinos, to try both Totinos. flavors right here, right now. So we're going to come around and we're going to do this. Man, Sonic now loves some up, Totinos. All right. Here goes nothing. Mm. That's good. I'm tasting some beef. Some totinos, chicken. Totinos. How did you know? I think those are red bell peppers. That's awesome. I like this. Now. That's a stuffed nacho right there. And this one, sir, is... All right, we're going queso. Hell yeah. Dive in. <laughs> when are we going to do the Totino stream? Soon. Once the sponsorship comes through, it's going to all be Totino streams. This cheese filling is amazing. And it's, yes. Ooh, the onions are a nice touch. Mm. God damn. This is good stuff. Mmm. I can't even decide which one I like more. They're both so good. It's almost course, like I'm this paid made by this company. By Hashtag stuff nachos. Behold this stylish looking Green Hill Zone floor. Don't step on anything else. There's lava. Just kidding. That's Marble Zone. Thanks for sticking with us, and uh, we love you all. Thank you, Totino. Back to the stage. Thank you, Totino. Change of plans. I'm going to get my hands on Sonic Boom Fire and Ice for the very first time. Let's do it. Let's go. Now here we have the opening cinematic. Yeah, we're really excited to show you all very soon. Okay. Well, <laughs> you certainly are. We are using glass processing. Yes, we are using blast processing. Thank you, yes. Yes, thank you for remembering the reference from the 90s. Thank you. Which makes the game infinitely better. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo doesn't. So what's blast processing do? God, I miss when advertisements for video games were this sick. They just lied. They just lied to all of us. They just said, like, yo, Sega Genesis is kind of like, what if a video game system was on a race car? That's fucking sick, right? That's sick as hell. I, I miss this era where they would just blatantly fucking lie to us and say, our system's better because it has a fictitious power. What if you don't have blast processing? It's Sega! Seabot attack! Can you guys reveal maybe at what point in the coming months or next kind of half a year when <coughs> is the game first going to be playable? So instead of just seeing <coughs> trailers, we can actually let the fans get their hands on it. Uh, I'll show you about the. Let's do it. Tonight? Let's, you let's reckon? Do it. Yeah. What would I say if we did it tonight? Tonight. Oh, that was weak. Nah, I'm not doing it. He said it wasn't good enough. 
It's, it's not that. It's not that. Should we roll a trailer? Let's do it. The world okay. premiere. What do you mean, why do I look fruitier? It's because I'm a funny rabbit. What the, what the hell is that supposed to mean? How can I get fruitier? I have a boyfriend who I have sex with. How do I get fruitier than that? What's the threshold, grape soda? Where does it end, grape soda? Agree. Because of that blast processing, yes. There are currently no plans to make Sonic Adventure 3. Ooh. But I'd really like to potentially make it in the future. I have one. That's a fair point, Grape Soda. Thank you. One last surprise for everyone. Come on, make it a good one. Okay. Make it a good one. Hi, Nintendo fans. Reggie here. I'm here to introduce an out of this world look for the new. That's true. Nintendo that would 3DS be fruitier. XL. Yes. This is the new Galaxy style new Nintendo 3DS XL system. It has all the same great features you know and love. This is my favorite now. I wanted to make sure everyone could get their hands on one as soon as possible. God damn it! I miss Reggie so much. Shout out Reggie. I hope he's doing well. Nintendo has never been the same since Reggie left. R.I.P. Well, guys, I'm thinking that's pretty well the end. I've been streaming for, uh, fuck, about three hours now. So I'm very glad that all of you stuck around and watched some Sonic bullshit with me. It, it was varying degrees. Selwing, <laughs> you picked the worst time to come back. We're wrapping up. Wrap it up, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm I'm glad I could debut my hilarious Sonic persona with y'all guys because uh, I am working on some very funny Sonic videos, but some very Sonic, uh, very funny Sonic figures. Uh, the first person I'm going to be covering will probably be Sonic '93. It, it was going to be Dylan Thomas, but I mean that guy, that guy's beat. He's done. And then uh, I have a few other people that I'm going to be covering from there. So I'm I'm excited to get into that shit. I've got a few more videos on the horizon as well. I'm still working on one about uh, various cartoonists who are creeps and weirdos. That's pretty exciting. And then I'll probably do Sounds of the Underground Part 2. So uh, yeah, yeah, we're getting, we're getting mad videos out. Very late stuff's coming out soon. Um, new episode it should be out this week, if not early next. So we, uh, we, we keep booing. Dylan's new name is The Sonic Zone. I repeat, Dylan Thomas's new channel is The Sonic Zone. He reports on Sonic News. He pretends he is a robot parrot. So if you want all Dylan Thomas updates, the channel is called the Sonic Zone. All right, and I'm probably not going to repeat that. More feet next time. You got it. You got it, buddy. You got it. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to making some new stuff down the line, more streams. I'm just kind of getting comfortable figuring this shit out. So appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to the homies. We out.